Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 15, the show, row the show with Diego Torres. This is episode 35, and there you see we're getting ready for this rubber match here between the Cubbies and the Pirates. There you see the Pirates 85 and 70. We are 77 and 78, just a game below 500 right now, and we are trying to our best here to get at 500 here and just try to show the Chicago crowd what we can do here and what they have looked forward to next season. So, Torres picked up his ninth win in the last episode, if you guys remembered. Uh, he pitched eight innings of work and did a great job in that game. There you see the latest stands right there. Of course, Brewers holding on to, well, actually now have clinched the uh, divisional, uh, NL Central Divisional title. So, they're moving on to the uh, postseason. As for us, well, we're just going to be sitting around watching them play in the postseason. As we'll take a look here. And there you see the stats right there. But Torres had a great win there against the Brewers there at home. Uh, it was a great outing. He had eight innings of work. Gave up six hits, three runs, three runs, one walk, six hits. But uh, his team was able to get out of the ballpark there and hold on to the win there for him in that last game. So now we're going to see him in action here today. He's taking on McHenry here. And we'll see here, or excuse me, McNeil here in this at-bat here. McNeil coming up to bat here. He's going to take a swing here at a 1 2 pitch. And that curveball getting on him, that's going to be a strikeout. That's going to be one away here. So Torres finishing off what he started there against the Brewers here. As we take a look here, first batter here up to bat. And that's what you like to see from your ace pitcher here getting a strikeout here. So go still same inning here. Tabula coming up to bat. He'll pop this one up. That one's going to go sky high out to deep right field there. No problem there on that play. That's now two away here for the Pirates. So Pirates not looking too good here. They know what they're up against here today against Torres. So now McCutcheon coming up the bat here. He has a one-two count here. Will he retire on this pitch here? Yep, that forcing fastball away from him. That's going to take him and have to go grab some pine now. And he's going to have to go sit, go get his glove and get ready to play some defense here as the Cubbies move on to the next inning. So now we go to the top of the second now. See what Torres can do here in this top half of the inning. As you see Harrison up the bat here. There's his numbers both home and away. 0-1 pitch here for Harrison. Harrison is going to take this one and see what he'll do. He'll pop this one up. That one is going to be underneath the first baseman there. No problem there as he gets a hold of that one. Rizzo does. Nice job, and that retires Harrison for the day here. So, so far the first four batters here not able to get a hit really, only uh, just uh, pieces of hits here off of Torres. So you see if this continues on. Now two-two pitch here. Now for Walker. Walker takes that one. That one's out of the zone there. He goes chasing after that one, and that's now two away here for the Pirates. So Torres looking very good right now. As we take a look here at the replay. Nice pitch right there, making him chase after the one, especially out of the zone there. Cross the letters, two away. Now 0-2 pitch here for Hart. Hart's going to look for a pitch here. That one's a slider. That one's going to go just about almost off the plate there, and he cannot pick up that one as that's going to retire him. And now the sides have now been changed. So after two innings of work here, Torres has not given up a hit, and no runs have been scored here in this ball game. So now top of the third now, 0-2 pitch here. For Garrett Cole, we'll see here two outs, and this one's going to go fly out to left, and that's going to retire him and retire the inning. So now after three innings of work here, still no score. Cubbies do uh, hit, get one hit in the ball game here uh, against the Pirates. Now top of the fourth here, two outs. McCutcheon up the bat here. McCutcheon hitting this one in the middle there. Second baseman tried to make a play there, but no one can get there on time as McCutcheon gets on board there with two outs. So they're trying to see if they can get a two-out rally going here for their, themselves here. So Harrison up to bat here, two outs, runner on first. We'll see what he can do here. Will McCutcheon be in motion here? We'll have to see here. 0-2 pitch here from Torres. Torres swing or throws. Nice swing right there, but that one's going to get a force out there and get McCutcheon out there at second. So the inning being over here, we'll take a look here. Still no score here. After four innings of work here, it's still 0-0. Top of the fifth now, we'll see here, Hart up to bat here with one out here. We'll see him fly out, or hit, actually hit down the line there, third base line. That's going to be a single out to left there, 
and that's going to get him on board there with one out. So we'll have to see if Torres can uh, now going to be on the stretch there. You see his numbers so far in this ball game. You'll see if we can uh, see if if he can try to possibly turn this around here and put it in the better for him. So Joey Mercer, here you see what he's done so far for the day. 0 for 1 now. We'll see here. Mercer's going to get a curveball here. We'll take a look. That one gets driven down the ground here. That's going to be a force at second. And then turn around. They get the 2. And that's going to be the inning. So Mercer gets hits into a double play there. And that ends the inning here. As we take a look at the replay, nice defense there for the Cubbies here. Really turning that defense around here, especially with Torres at the heel on the, the days he pitches here. Still no score after five innings there between the Cubbies and Pirates. Now, top of the six, still no score here. One out here, and Garrett Cole's going to be up to bat once again. Cole, it will swing and miss there. That's now two away. Two outs now for the Cubby or for the Pirates here. Again, cannot find their way in this ball game here. Cannot get a hit at all. Having a tough time here against Torres. So now Torres has to be, face McNeil now. Two twice now he's faced McNeil. Struck him out and f had him pop fly out there. We'll see a one-one pitch here, and McNeil will hit this one. That's gonna be a shallow hit out to left center field there. That is now we're gonna have a runner on board here, and we'll see here with uh, two away what the uh, Pirates have in store. There you see again Torres, his numbers giving up only hits, no runs, no no walks, and no one runs there so far. Looking pretty good. So now Tabla coming up the bat. He's flat out now twice here. Can we see a possible third fly out here as Tabla is going to get a one-two pitch here from Torres. That's going to be a draw. That's going to be a, actually a strikeout there on that curveball, that 12 to 6 curveball. What a drop there. And after six, still no score. Now after seven, still no one has scored yet. McCutcheon coming up the bat here. We'll see what McCutcheon can do with this 0-1 pitch here. And McCutcheon will get a hold of that one. That's going to get past the infield as the second baseman. Can't make a play on it. And that's going to get on runner on board here now at first. So Torres going to be in the stretch now. And we'll have to see what, if he can get himself out of here. Hopefully maybe get a double play from this next batter here. And we'll see here. Harrison up the bat there. You see he's grounded and popped out here so far today. Not a good day for him. As McCutcheon's out first. And McCutcheon's going to go ahead and take off here. They're going to try to see if they can make a play out at second. And no, they cannot. They cannot get the play there at second. Try to tag McCutcheon out. He's just a little too quick. And that's going to put now a runner in scoring position here. Take a look at the replay. Nice pitch there. Try to get him go after that one. And Torres knew McCutcheon was going to run. So now 2-2 pitch here now for Harrison. McCutcheon at second here. We'll see if he's going to go after the pitcher or if the, after the batter. He does. And Torres is pumped. As now that's two away now here for the Pirates as they have McCutcheon there at second base. Stranded so far now. And you see Torres is pumped. Now I can't get too excited here. Still got one more batter to face here to get the final out of the inning. So now one two pitch here. Now for Walker. We'll see what Walker can do with this one as Walker. Gets the pitch, and there you see that one's going to go up the middle there. That right there could score the runner here as the ball's getting thrown into home play. And nice tag right there on McCutcheon. McCutcheon will get tagged out there. They see he's out, and Walker will get the extra base hit there. He'll be at second now, and they get the tag out there. Actually, two away there for the Pirates. Not one. I have a mistake. Uh, I got to correct myself there. It was actually. Uh, one out there before that play, but now there you see the replay there. McCutcheon thought he was safe, but he got the tag out there at the play. Nice defensive throw there from the center fielder. So now we'll see here Hart up coming up the bat here. Uh, Torres just needs one more pitch here to get out of the inning here. A one two pitch here. We'll see if Hart goes after, and he does. Four seam fastball inside right there, right across the plate. Nice job. And that gets Torres out of there. So nice job there from the defense helping out Torres. And especially Torres get himself out of here. And you see there, still no score here. And so far he's given up five hits in the ball game here. So now Mercer coming up the bat here with nobody on board. Nobody out. 0-2 pitch here for Mercer. We'll see what Torres can do. Try to blow by this one by him. But this one's going to go high. This one's going to go deep. And that's going to go in the stands. Wrigley fan, uh, Cubby fans out there in Wrigley Field do not like that. They actually throw it back out into the field. But that's a home run here late in the ball game here. 
Pirates leader now one nothing, and Torres cannot believe it. He is talking to himself, thinking, how could that pitch get across the play? I thought it was inside. And actually talking to him after the game, he could have sworn that pitch was unhittable. But apparently Mercer got a hold of it, seen it, and took that one to a, on a charge there out of the ballpark. We'll take a look here at the replay. And there you see, yeah, it's right across the plate there. And, yeah, that one is long gone. That's going to be a souvenir for a fan out there and to her left. So, Cubby's down by one here. 0-1 pitch here for Sanchez. Sanchez will pop this one up high and deep. This one will go out to right field, and that will be an out there. And that will be one away there for the Pirates. So, the Pirates are on the board here with one out. And we'll see here if they can attack on more runs here. On Torres, we'll talk about a game here Torres has had up to that point. 0, 2, 0 for 2 now for Garrett Cole here. We'll see what he can do with a 1-2 pitch, and that's going to be a strikeout right there. That's going to get see him packing back to the dugout there. And Torres fired up after that home run there. He's decided he is determined to get his offense back on the uh, behind the plate at the plate there to get him a run here and possibly a lead here. Well, you'll see here Garrett Cole strikes on that one now. 0-2 pitch now for McNeil, and we'll see what McNeil can do. And that's going to be a blown away pitch there. And that goes 96 miles per hour on that four-seam fastball, and that's going to retire him, and that's going to be the inning. So after 80 innings, there's one, it's one and nothing here. The uh, Buckos lead it here, and we'll take a look at the uh, simulation here. And Torres does get pulled out there as uh, Castro, of course, comes in here at – comes in the game as a pitch hitter here and they'll try to see if they can get this win here for Torres here as you see it doesn't look too good they down two to nothing now here in the ninth inning they snagged up another run here as you see the Cubbies trying to get something going here and but unfortunately Torres will get hit with a loss there and you see is nine and five now they lose this game two to nothing Torres talk about a game he had had what a game it was but unfortunately, giving up that home run late in the inning there, in the eighth inning there, or actually early in the eighth inning there, it was not in the uh, good favor of him. As you take a look here, we're just 15 games out of first place. Of course, uh, you know, to, again, playing for pride. But that right there was a hurt. Uh, that was just, uh, that really got to Torres after he talking to him after the game. He said that he really thought that pitch was not across the plate, but after taking the video of uh, Look at the video footage after the game. He was mistake. He was said he was mistaken by that, and he apologized to his teammates for giving up that run. But nonetheless, here you'll see Torres here. His next start here will be against Kyle Loesch. There, it will be in Milwaukee, as that will be the final or second to the last game. There will be his final start of the 2015 season, his rookie year, and we'll see what he can do here against the uh, Brewers. Here, he's had actually had some. Kind of some mixed emotions playing against them as he's actually, you know, he's lost some and won some against them. And we'll have to see what he does in this next game. So, Diego Torres and Kyle Loesch in the next episode, you guys. And we'll see what he can do in episode 36 here as he's 9-5 and five for the season with a 2.05 ERA. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Diego Torres. Road to the show here on, on ESGN Net. And as always, keep yourself healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.